Mr. Quickly, I am going to introduce the first speaker. We have two of God's generals in the house who will be speaking to us as the Lord has laid in their heart, and they will lead us in prayer. And we'll begin with the first speaker, and after that, the second speaker. So I want you to join me as I welcome God's servant, a very dear friend and one of God's voices in our generation. As he will lead us through this first segment, welcome, Pastor Shegu. The platform is set, sir. We celebrate you, and we are here to receive from you. Thank you. Blessed be God. Good morning, saints from different parts of the world. Good morning, sir. Good morning to morning. Check on. And uh, good morning and a great morning to Pastor Light Aze. Thank you, sir. Uh, I also want to appreciate the man of God who will be speaking after me. Um, Pastor Sam Tukura, Reverend Sam Tukura, it's uh, an honor to share the platform with you this morning. Amen. I want to thank Pastor Light for his labors, for his uh, work, and uh, for the vision that God has given him for Global Harvest. And I want to... Um, <clears throat> I appreciate the fact that we pick our fires, it appears always from, uh, from the same altar. Uh, we began to pray for the great awakening uh, early last year. And we continue to pray because we believe that we cannot be in a generation that is defined by evil, defined by wickedness, defined by ungodliness, and defined by corona crisis. Uh, this corona crisis suddenly started and it has affected the whole world. It has affected every continent, every nation, Every community it has affected politics, business, church, uh, every sector of society. And we began to perceive in our spirit that just as the scripture says in Isaiah 59, 19, that when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of God will raise a standard against it. And our prayer in the season, part of the prayers for the Great Awakening is that God will raise a standard and that our generation will not be defined by coronavirus and corona crisis, but our generation will be defined by uh, the move of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That the whole earth will indeed be filled with the knowledge of the glory of our Hallelujah. God as the waters Hallelujah. cover the sea. Hallelujah. That something will come out of heaven that will eclipse mm. everything that coronavirus and corona crisis. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 you has know, as, as impacted that heaven will pour on the earth so that the will of God will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. Amen. So I want to celebrate you, man of God, uh, as a fellow laborer in the vineyard and one who is hearing from heaven. Uh, you are not just um, a, a preacher, a pastor who just uh, you know, want to talk, you are a kingdom worker. And uh, I celebrate that because our father in heaven is not just a speaker, he's a worker. <laughs> Jesus says, my father walk, he that do, and I walk. And I walk. 
sure. her work. And sure. we must receive an anointing to work, anointing sure. to labor in the vineyard of our Father. Amen. There must be a fresh anointing that comes upon us and all the people who walk with us. Mm. Uh, we must come under pressure of the Holy Spirit to yes, walk. Mm. We mustn't, it mustn't be business as usual. At if all. we are not under pressure, then something is wrong. Yes, the sir. zeal of the Lord of hosts must consume us again. Mm. Yes, sir. We must, we must, we must be pregnant. Mm. And we must receive the capacity to labor. Yes, sir. Uh, a few days ago, I was speaking in, in, in other meetings, and uh, the Lord gave me the picture again of, uh, 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 the, of the vision that um, John, Apostle John, saw on the island of Patmos in Revelation chapter 12. And that vision is relevant for our time. And as we lay the foundation for this work in the next year, you mm. see the Bible says a great sign appeared in heaven. And uh, in that sign, let me go there very quickly before I come uh, uh, to the book of Genesis. Revelation chapter 12. And uh, I, 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 I ask that the Holy Spirit will <clears throat> indeed impregnate you with that which heaven wants to birth on earth in the sea. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Revelation chapter 12 says, now a great sign appeared in heaven. Mm. A woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet. And on her head, a garland of 12 stars. Mm. Then being with child, being pregnant, she cried mm. out in labor and in pain to give birth. This mm. is what I believe the church, this should be the state of the church now. Mm. And what I want to say from this passage of scripture is that uh, what is within is greater than what is without. Sure, sure. What has not been seen in yes, our sir. world yes, sir. is greater than what the world has seen. Has seen, sure. Eyes Hallelujah. have not seen, ears have not heard. It has not entered into the heart of man mm. <laughs> what heaven mm. has proposed to do in our time Hallelujah. and generation. And we must be mm. pregnant with that which God wants to do. We must see with the eyes of God. We mustn't mm. just look at the physical, the challenges in our nations, the poverty, the limitations, all the weapons that the devil has fashioned, you know, the political economic crisis, we mustn't be impressed by that. For that is without, that is mm. external. There mm. is something that is growing within. Mm. There is that which the Holy Spirit is planting in the womb of the church. And mm. we must pay attention to that which is within, that which is growing within. You see, mm. in this picture, the woman was pregnant wow. and the child that the woman was carrying, the Bible says it is, it is going to rule the nations. So mm. Verse 3 says, another sign appeared in heaven. Behold, a great fiery and red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven diadems on his head. He still drew a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to give birth to devour a child as soon as it was born. She bore a male child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. Hallelujah. 
Amen. The church is going to be a man child mm. that will rule the nations. Child, so the rule. government Alada will city. be upon his shoulders. And his name city. shall be called Wonderful, wonderful. Counselor. Counselor, the everlasting father, the, everlasting the, prince, father, of peace, the prince of peace, of the increase of his government, there shall be no end. But in the beginning, mm. you, you see, the devil is the devil. is not impressed with wow. the woman anymore. Mm. The devil is focusing on the child in the womb of the woman. Mm. Mm. So true. The devil realizes that his devilish estate and future is mm. at stake yes, because sir. <laughs> of what the woman <laughs> is at Yes. Mm. And the devil came mm. in person. He did not send the principality he did not send a power of darkness. He came in person to devour Hallelujah. the child. Hallelujah. Ah, yeah. But mm. the devil is a failure. I, sure. I do not say that he fails. It's a failure. You failure know, somebody who forever. fails may try again. <laughs> mm. But the devil is condemned to fail. He cannot Hallelujah. succeed. Hallelujah. And he will not wow. succeed in our Mala day, in our, time, in our generation. Mm. Yes, but yes, I want you to take the posture mm. of a pregnant woman. Mm. I go. A pregnant woman is focused on that which mm. is within, not yes, that sir. which is without. Yes, sir. A pregnant woman is focused on nurturing that which is within. Yes, sir. I'm bringing that which is within to time, to full time. Mm. A pregnant woman is not bothered about fashion, about high heel shoes, mm -mm. about mm. what the world has to say. About the, mm -mm. the primary focus of a pregnant woman is mm. that life that is within. Mm. And I want to challenge you this morning to focus wow. on the life that is growing within. Yes, sir. The life of Christ. Mm. The life of Christ within you and me. That should be our focus. So thank you again, Pastor Light, for the work that you do out of the southern, Cape, the southern tip of Africa, the Cape. And uh, I believe that God is uh, pouring into the nations of the world uh, through the Cape. Very soon, the Cape will no longer be known for violence in the Cape Flats, for immorality, and all of those things that the devil has done before. The mm. Cape will be known for revival. Amen. The Cape will Amen. Be known Amen. For the great awakening. The Cape will Hallelujah. be known. People will not just come for evil tourism and love mm. of pleasure in Cape Town. Yes. They will come to Cape Town the way they go to Wales in those days. Hallelujah. People went Hallelujah. to Wales to go and see the revival in Wales. Amen. The Amen. revival led by Evan Roberts. And uh, I have been there and I pray to say, God, I am bringing, I'm taking this fire to Africa. Amen. Amen. By the grace of God, I was a guest of the church in Wales uh, 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 when it was 100 years anniversary of the Welsh revival. And I was speaking mm. in various churches and I said, I haven't come to preach. I have come to pick a fire. Yes, sir. And may that fire begin to burn. Legada Banagada 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 
Yes, sir. That revival was named after the sheep. Heaven conquered mm. wills. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. And Amen. We are Ta. believing and laboring with our mm. Lord Jesus Christ mm. for the great mm. awakening that conquers yes, sir. cities yes, and sir. redefines the destiny Aya. of nations. <laughs> That redefines the destiny of communities, of, of the communities, that of communities cities and nations, and now be de mm. described after that move. Yes, sir. Of <laughs> Bless be Jesus. That the evil identity mm. of communities mm. can be mm. shaken off. Yes. And broken by that revival. <laughs> so Aya. that the communities will be get by what God has done. Mm. It will mm. not, mm. some of mm. those communities mm. will no longer be defined mm. by teenage pregnancies, by yes, poverty, sir. by bad governance, but they will mm -mm. be defined by what God. By the works of God. By the works of God. Hallelujah. 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 So true, sir. Manazu Father, we celebrate this. Lara Dunakita, Zumbra Natasia, and Donogodo Bonatresh. Glory to Let Jesus. Let it be done with speed. Glory to Jesus. With Let speed. Yes. Hasten your words and hasten your word, Lord, and perform it in our in days. In the name of Jesus. Today, Amen. we lay a foundation. We lay a foundation. Mm. For the next one year of uh, the work of Global Harvest. Yes, sir. Mm. And uh, I want to mm. speak from Genesis chapter one. My God. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I want to say mm. something before I read Genesis chapter one and I mm. begin to, to pray. Mm. The, the work of foundation is a work that... God commits into the hands of apostles. There are apostolic work, prophetic work, evangelistic work, uh, pastoral work, uh, mm. teaching work. But the apostle is characterized by three things. Three principal things. Number mm. one is foundation. Mm. The work of the apostle deals with every foundation that is ungodly mm. and sets new foundation that is that the mm. foundation taken out of heaven in yes, the sir. life of individuals, in the life of uh, ministries, in the life of nations, in sectors of society, the apostle targets foundations to uproot that which is not planted of God mm. and to lay a new foundation. It's not enough mm. to uproot. There has to be capacity to lay a new foundation. To lay a new foundation. Yes, that sir. is eternal. Yes, that sir. God can work with foundation yes, that is taken oh. out of heaven, hmm. foundation pure that hmm. is full of apostolic wisdom that yes, the devil cannot, cannot, it, it, the, the hmm. foundation itself excludes hmm. the devil. Yes, sir. <laughs> The wow. second thing that the mm. apostle thinks about all the time is mm. balance. Balance. That there must be balance. You mustn't go off the track. You mustn't go off the rail. You mustn't focus on one thing at the neglection of others. You see, that's what happens with denominations, over emphasis of one aspect of the faith or of the word without balance. Mm. And the more you overemphasize something, the, mm. the, the, it, it then becomes easier to establish a denomination instead of a work for God. In yes, this sir. season, 
God is building the territorial church, not the denominational church. The denominational church has had its time and we all continue to be part of the local church. But we mustn't allow ourselves to go off the track with just one line of doctrine. Mm. We must find a balance always. We must listen to other people, even when we have not come to the level of understanding they are, that they have, we must always emphasize the body, not a denomination. Lastly, yeah. the yeah. apostle think of eternal. The yeah. apostle does not just focus on the past or the present. The present doesn't bother the apostle. The past, yeah. He, you know, is not his, his primary concern as well. The primary concern of the apostle is that whatever work he does mm. must be of eternal value. Yes, sir. Yes, Whether sir. it is checked a thousand years from now mm. or, you know, wherever it is taken to, it mm. is eternal. So you see that the apostles who wrote the Bible, they were not concerned about whether a million people was listening to them or not. They were not concerned. Yes, they, they knew that whatever they were putting on the table was mm. of eternal value. Value. And that it will impact generations. Wow. And I pray that this mm. work Malana Manazia Tenegadash. Amen. 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 It will Amen. not be distracted. It will not mm. be for show. They say Mzansi for show. This work must not be for show. For show. In the it name of Jesus. It must be of eternal value. Wow. It must Thank be you. something that God wow. can present to the world. As a work that God in himself has done. Finally. In the name of Jesus. You look in the book of Genesis wow. chapter 1. Mm. And you see the Bible mm. says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void and darkness mm. was on the face of the deep. Mm. And the spirit of God was over and over the face of the waters. Then wow. God said, let there mm. be light. And there was light. And God mm. saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. God called mm. the, the, the light day. And the darkness he called night, so the evening and the morning were the first day. I do not have the time to speak into these issues now, mm. but I'm going to release them and prophesy them over this work. In the name you of see, Jesus. in the work that God did in Genesis chapter one, you see mm. an eternal foundation. It a foundation, foundation that cannot be shifted by the be devil. Shaky. Cannot be shaken. <laughs> a cannot work be shifted. that stands sure mm. Mm. forever. Mm. May mm. this work mm. carry mm. that weight Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You Amen. see four elements that are mm. clear in this work. Mm. Number one, in the place mm. of the darkness. God brought light. Yes. Let there be light, like your name. Amen. You see, Amen. he did not so much focus on the darkness. Mm -mm. Not he at all. Cleared the darkness with light. He brought yes, what is not. He did not focus mm. on what is. Mm. He yes. brought something out of his own resources. Yes, sir. He did not try to now analyze the darkness. Mm -mm. He brought the light. May Amen. you bring something through this mm. ministry that Amen. will shift the darkness in the name of Jesus. This generation. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Then, Amen. The, the Bible says that it was void. Mm. Mm. And God released divine content. Wow. He mm. brought in something that is mm. still there till tomorrow. Yes, sir. 
the yes, sun, sir. the moon, the stars. Mm. Mm. May mm. you not be ephemera in the midst. Amen. May you not in be the name of Jesus. My God. May you bring something eternal, My something God. that generations Amen. will be able to refer to and say, yes, sir. look what yes, happened sir. in 2021. Yes, sir. Look what happened yes, in 2022. Yes, sir. May your Man world have ta. divine zuna, tanana, zuna, in the name dusate. of Jesus. Amen. And then Amen. God brought the structure into the work. Mm. Wow. He organized it wow. day and night day mm. and night and put things My in God. place. One of the weaknesses of ministry in Africa is that it lacks structure. My God. Mm. And at the beginning mm. of the work of the Institute mm. for Christian Leadership Development, mm. God expressly warned me, three mm. things must never be lacking as you mm. walk. Light, mm. substance, structure. And I'm mm. still working on those three things. In mm. everything we do, light mm. is Jesus Christ. Mm. No shortcut to it. Mm. He is the light of the world. Our mm. work is about his exaltation, his glorification. Mm. And the mm. substance speaks of mm. the, the eternal position on every mm. work, on every sector of society. What does the scripture say? Because the scriptures mm. cannot be changed. And mm. then the structure speaks of order. Mm. Order. And mm. we want to represent mm. God's kingdom order mm. with our work. Mm. But all of that was made possible by the fact that God released wow. the Holy Spirit to govern mm. this place. It was a work governed by the Holy Spirit. Wow. And I pray that this work will indeed be governed by the Holy yes. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Father, I want Amen. to thank you for this time thank of you, laying Jesus. the foundation for the next thank you, one Jesus. year. I want to thank give you the you, glory Jesus. for the past one year. I want thank to give you, you Jesus. the glory for your thank seven you, Jesus. that you thank have you, Jesus. delivered from darkness you have Thank delivered you, from every work of the enemy. You, you have Jesus. raised his head above what every conspiracy of darkness. What a revelation. David said, Fire. you are my Allah glory Allah and the lifter of my head. And I water. want to thank you that he you have been Allah. the glory of your he son and your Allah. servant, Pastor Light AC. You have been the lifter of his head. You have not Hallelujah. allowed the enemy to rejoice over him. <laughs> and we congratulate <laughs> you, <laughs> Heavenly Father, that mm. you have raised a people in the in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the Western Cape in Cape Why Town. You have raised like, a pillar. You have a son that is laboring with you, Daddy. And Father, we release the light, the substance, the structure of heaven that in the next year, this work will have more light from heaven, more substance and divine structure, and it will be governed by the Holy Spirit. And we will be careful to give you all of the glory. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Wow. This is, this is amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Lord, we thank you for the gift of Pastor Shegu. Thank you for this mind-blowing revelation. We are so thankful. This is, this is from above and we celebrate it. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I'm so glad that every of these meetings are documented. It will be on our Facebook, is on Facebook, and be on our YouTube channel. So please, you need to listen to this again. So I want to welcome God's servant, the second speaker whom God is going to use to lay. Pastor Light, can you hear me? Let me interrupt you. Okay. Can you sir. hear me? Yes, sir. Don't, don't let my friend, uh, my friend, Pastor Shegun, let, don't allow him, allow him to let him continue the message. 
OK. <laughs> can you hear? Uh, Pastor Shegun, my friend, can you hear me? Pastor Shegu, are you there? No, I want to hear, I want to hear uh, Reverend. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm already listening to him. I'm enjoying the, the spirit of the meeting. Why not continue? <laughs> I, I would have loved to listen to uh, uh, to you, sir. I would have loved to to hear what the Lord is saying to you. Wow. But I, I think I discharged my burden in a measure, and uh, it it will be for uh, uh, the the rest. The Lord will open the door for another season uh, that uh, we can unpack it for them. Uh, so that uh, the ministries that are coming out of Africa uh, will carry uh, the Lordship of Jesus Christ as light to the world. Hmm. This, is, this is what the, the devil wants to kill. In everything that the devil is doing, there hmm. is only one purpose that he has to undermine and exclude Jesus from this earth. But God has only one commitment <laughs> to glorify Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And you know that ministries around the world have found ways, you know, to run ministries, you know, uh, outside of Christ. But God is lighting a new fire in Africa that we are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are not modernized. We are not civilized to the point that uh, we want to speak, a, you know, about him in pronouns. You know, <laughs> uh, uh, I, I listen to some prayers that are prayed in America and I see uh, Jesus has been reduced to pronouns and because it's a public space and uh, you cannot tell who is in, 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 in his name we pray, in his name we pray. Uh, no, no. But I believe that God is raising a, an apostolic uh, leadership in yes, Africa sir. that is not ashamed yes. to mention the name of Jesus in the public. And yes, that sir. is not a shame of that name of Jesus. And, and when we talk about the various mountains, the various sectors of society, we actually want to make sure that what we are bringing people into is the knowledge of the word of God. Because the scripture contains the eternal position of mm. God on mm. politics, on economy, on, on, on uh, 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 you know, information, communication, technology, you cannot improve on what God has already said in the scripture. And, and uh, uh, we need to know that. We, we need to dig further into the scriptures to see that what the Bible says about agriculture is eternal. What the mm. Bible teaches about youth development and what the Bible teaches about education is eternal. The nations may go round in their policies and go round and go round in the bush, but we bring them back to that eternal position in scripture and let them see that what the Bible teaches about agriculture applies in the northern hemisphere it appears in the southern hemisphere it is the eternal standard and it is when people do it god's way when they do the agriculture god's way when they practice the politics god's way that we can have abundant life in our nation so we are not just going to talk about what Harvard says and what, what um, uh, the university says. We are going to dig further into the scripture to teach yes, the nations sir. in every sector that sure. this is the eternal position. And uh, lastly, before I pass the button to Reverend Sam Tukura, we are going to make sure that we are structured. 
Mm. Uh, structure has been the limitation of the African ministers. And mm. uh, we have assumed that if the Holy Spirit is moving, then we must be structureless, you know, mm. that, uh, you know, we, we, we must not have uh, any form of governance around time, uh, ad or administrative structure. I mean, in fact, in most part of Africa, admin is like, you know, uh, irrelevant. And it is not so in scriptures. Uh, Paul talks about uh, the apostles first, the prophets follow, the teachers, and then it talks about the administrators. They are equally anointed to make sure that what comes out reflects the order of heaven. And it is not just what we say that glorifies God. It is not just what we do that glorifies God. The way we are ordered and organized mm. must mm. glorify God. 